guys, I'm doing a pack with me video today for my study abroad in Israel. I'm studying abroad with the Masters University in their IBEX program, so I'm just going to walk you through what I'm packing and hopefully this will help you when you're packing. I'm going spring 2020, so some things may different be different from fall and spring, but it's pretty much the same. So they put together a folder with a checklist in it. Um, and I'm going to go through what I'm bringing and some things that aren't on the checklist. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to start with clothes. That's why there's a giant pile next to me. So for pants, I'm bringing three pairs of jeans and then I'm bringing one pair of light hiking pants and then a pair of like more heavier duty hiking pants for when we're going on digs or when we plan on getting a little more dirty. I'm also bringing one pair of long shorts. Second, for shirts, I'm bringing six shirts that are nice that I can wear when we're going to class or just out and about in Jerusalem. And then uh, I'm bringing six like t-shirts that we can go hiking in and I don't mind getting dirty or leaving there. For sweaters, jackets, and sweatshirts, I'm bringing two sweatshirts and then I'm wearing one on the plane and then I'm bringing one sweater. For nice clothing for chapel and for Sundays, I'm bringing three skirts and one dress and you guys will know which skirts to bring. Pretty much the skirts have to be in the middle of the calf, so you have to make sure those are in dress code. Of course, I'm bringing undergarments and socks. I'm bringing a modest swimsuit with shorts to cover that up, a rain jacket, a puffy jacket, because in the spring it tends to get a little cold, a beach towel washcloth. I think that's it. Now for shoes. I'm gonna bring Tevas. Um, there's a debate whether Tevas or Chacos. I went for Tevas just because they're less expensive and you don't have to break them in, which can be pretty painful. So that's why I'm bringing those. Then I'm bringing my white Converse, a pair of Nikes, my checkered vans, and a pair of flip flops. Okay, so now we're gonna go into toiletries. For toiletries, obviously you're going to be bringing what you bring to the dorm most of the time, but in bulk. So some people like to not bring anything and buy there, but I prefer to bring it now. So I'm bringing a full tube, tube of toothpaste, I'm bringing a full shampoo and conditioner, and a full body wash. I brought three sticks of deodorant, some sunblock, I brought six Carmexes. Six. Um, <laughs> I love Carmex. Um, I'm also going to be bringing my like feminine hygiene products. I know some people are bringing moleskin, so I'm not going to bring that. I've talked to like the other people there. They're bringing some stuff. I'm bringing other stuff. Also, I am bringing nail clippers and a fingernail brush because I'm going to be hiking in my sandals and your toes are going to get dirty, so we don't like that. Don't forget your nail brush. Okay, so now we get into the fun stuff. These are things that you don't necessarily need to bring, but may make your life a little bit easier. So the first thing we have is a note-taking Bible. The note-taking Bible was given to me by my RA, and she recommends that when you get to a certain place that you read about in the Bible, you sit down, you write about things that you see, things that you feel, and things that you learn about, and then you keep it forever in this awesome note-taking Bible. Second thing I have is a notebook. This notebook is for daily journal entries, talking about where you went that day, what you learned, things you talked about, stuff like that. Food you ate, really cool, because then you can remember it forever. Next, we're talking about hats. Now, they recommend that you bring hats that are a light color so it doesn't heat your head up in the sun. I'm bringing two hats, but this one is more fun. It's a bucket hat, and I just wanted to put that in there. The next thing that we're gonna talk about is converters. This is something you actually need. What I'm gonna do is bring this converter and plug a strip into it so I can plug all of my things in. The next thing that I'm gonna talk about is a power bank. I'm bringing this because we will be out all day long on a bus and sometimes the bus will have a charger and sometimes they won't so I want to keep my phone charged because that's where I plan on taking most of my notes and most of my pictures obviously. The next thing I'm going to talk about is a fanny pack or a bum pack. 
whatever you want to call it. I'm bringing this small fanny pack to tuck underneath my clothes while we're walking in Jerusalem. Obviously you can bring a bigger one if you don't want to have a backpack, um, which I'm bringing as well. This is the backpack I'm going to be taking. It's super slim and small, but it can fit a large amount of stuff in there. These ones are a little weird. I'm bringing a Calmful Sleep Powder. This is just an all-natural powder. So it'll help you fall asleep. Um, I'm going to use this on the plane and also when I get there just to help me not um, be super jet lag. A Calmful Gut because travelers tend to have some issues. That's all I'm going to say about that one. Lastly, which I'm the most excited about, is a Hydro Flask strap. So this one I got with two straps. One that is a hand strap so you don't have to just use one finger while you're hiking or walking around different places. And then this one hooks on and can stretch out longer around your body so it's a hands-free water bottle holder. Not necessarily something you need but something that will make your life a lot easier. This one is super important. This is a wallet, kind of, first it has a wrist strap on it, but it's big enough to hold your passport and your important documents while you're traveling. It also has places for cards, for your health insurance um, card, and your money, just so you can keep it safe, everything in one place, and in, yeah. <laughs> I sleep with a weighted blanket. Now this is a small sized weighted blanket, it's just this big, and it is only 6 pounds, and I was a little nervous about flying with 20 pound weighted blanket or not having it at all because it really does help me sleep. And my mom found this one, and so I'm going to bring it on the plane, I can put it around my neck as a neck pillow, or just cuddle it use it as an actual blanket. I Obviously, you don't need to bring this yourself. You don't need it, but it's totally a score. All right, so let's get into luggage. The first thing that I'm bringing is a big checked bag. My checked bag is light pink and teal colored. It's one of the ones that is super lightweight. I got mine at TJ Maxx. The color is important when you're traveling because you, you don't want a black suitcase. If you're looking at luggage, man, I don't have any luggage. The pro tip is to never buy a black suitcase because everyone has a black suitcase. I'm also bringing a carry-on rolly backpack that's purple and a backpack on my back. Some people bring purses or whatever, but I'm bringing a backpack. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're looking for a full list, you can look at the description box below, or if you're going to Ibex, they'll give you one of your own. I hope you guys have a great trip in Israel. I'll see you guys later.